Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So the question has now been asked, now that we've had the new and extremely powerful weapons added to DCS in the form of the F-18 j -Cell, you know, the GPS-driven uh, glide bomb, and the JDAM in the Hornet. And the, so the JDAM, we can toss it 35 miles for a direct hit, as we've seen, and the j -Cell, we can fire it over 65 miles, as we've tested. And so we're taking out big SAM sites, uh, the longest range SAM sites in the game with these, and it's kind of upset the balance of power a bit in DCS because um, the Soviet sides used to have the best SAMs and it was very difficult to get through those SAM sites but it's all of a sudden it's been made extremely easy by the F-18. So what we're going to look at is what units can be added to those SAM sites to protect them from j and j -Dam to give the Soviet side a, a bit of a fighting chance. So we're going to go back here, we're going to go spectators. We've got a veritable arsenal of vehicles here. So what we can say, first of all, is long-range ground-based SAMs. We have not managed to get them to intercept j -Cell or j -Dam. So SA-6, SA-2, SA-11, SA-10, uh, SA-3. We can't get, oh, and the American variants, we can't get them to intercept j -Cell or j -Dam. Ships, it's a different matter. The Chinese destroyer and I think the frigate, we can get them to intercept j -Cell, but not j -Dam. Russian ships and American ships, honestly I haven't had a massive play with them, but I don't think they can intercept j -Cell and j -Dam. But the ships, I'm not too worried about anyway, because we're, we're mainly talking about protecting the inland SA-10 Grumbles, the SA-6s, the SA-11s, stuff like that. So in that case, our hopes lie really with the close range units, a mixture of guided AAA, well, guided AAA, unguided AAA, radar guided SAMs, optical guided SAMs, wire guided SAMs, all the different types of SAMs. So that's what we're going to be testing today. So what we've got in the way of close range ground protection then, is well everything we've got a front line here a couple of hundred feet in front of our target and a rear line there a couple of hundred feet rear i thought i'd do that just to um, make sure that we've got both bases covered in front and behind and we've got exactly the same units in front and behind each unit is set to maximum skill oh i guess i can't see here but they're set to maximum skill and they're set to alert uh, is set to red so they're, they're ready to fire i've set them up as best as i can we've got a linebacker we've got a strella and now this is IR driven but we have done testing with j cell and you can shoot it down with IR missiles from the air so you probably can shoot it down with IR missiles from the ground as well. Uh, SA-15 Tor, uh, it's a pretty decent modern radar guided missile. Uh, we've got the IGLA so that's a man pad IR guided. We've got a Tunguska, so that is electro optical guided, uh, for, you know I mean the Sackloss. Uh, type event I don't think that's going to be much good because you'd literally have to see the the missile with your eyes or with vis optical contrast which I don't think is going to happen the OSA uh, which is an old radar guided I don't think that'll stand a chance we've got a, 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 a hand driven uh, aimed or man optical aimed ZU-23 I don't think that's going to be much use even with the Saborka uh, we've got a Spar Geppard. I uh, it's a long time since I studied that, so I can't remember how that's driven. We've got a Shilka that's radar driven, AAA. Mm, they're old, so I doubt they'll do much good. Got a Manpad again. We've got a Chaparral IR, Avenger IR, and we've got a Roland uh, blast. It's been a well. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's radar, but I stand to be corrected. Uh, pretty sure it is radar actually and it comes with its EWR suite there. So as for predictions, I don't think electro-optical guided is going to be any good at all. I'd be amazed if IR guided had any use. The only thing I can think that will be any good is a, uh, a radar guided, especially came if it comes with an EWR suite like that. The reason is after having played all of these units on combined arms, it takes a long time to get a lock even with IR takes like five or eight seconds to get a lock and that means you know by the time it's within lock range of an IR missile uh, IR suite it'll be on top of you so I doubt the IR missiles will fire I reckon maybe some of the radar guided ones will fire maybe the SA-15 it's got a quite high, quite high resolution radar maybe the Roland that's all I think to be honest 
So that's that. Uh, let's go and chuck a JDAM and a uh, JSAW at it. Now, other things that are going to make a difference, the range and the, sp the speed that the missile is going to be, or the bomb is going to be traveling at, is going to affect uh, whether it can be shot or not because like I said it takes several seconds for uh, one of these sites to lock even on optimal performance to lock on to a thing so if it's going 300 knots it'll be twice as easy to lock on as if it's going 600 knots so that's something to uh, be aware of obviously as well as that we've got a kind of black spot for these guys most of these units can't look directly up most of them can't look above kind of 70 degrees something like that kind of angle kind of looking up so if that jdam comes down right on top of it there's no chance they're going to be able to lock onto it the j cell will definitely not come down like that it will kind of glide in like that so the j cell will be easier to hit in that kind of terms also um well let's go and have a look at the shape of these things shall we on the airplane so in terms of size, the JSAW is, you know, the radar cross-section. I don't know about, you know, the stealth ability of these things, obviously, but the cross-section is many times bigger um, in terms of kind of area. It must be, what, four, five, six times as big in terms of area? And it's got the wings as well. So the JSAW stands the best chance of getting hit. Those JDAMs are very small, but that said... Radar uh, missiles can intercept AGM-88s, which are no fatter than those uh, GBU-38s. So it's possible we might get a lock on these guys. Now, one interesting thing is that the radar sites, let's just pick an SA-10, Grumble, can shoot at AGM-88 harms. They cannot shoot at, at least at the moment, what are we, mid-June 2019, cannot shoot at these... Um, Doodah what sits, they cannot shoot at the j cell, and they cannot shoot at the bomb. And they can shoot at a TALD, which I think is about the same. Well, it's I think it's more than just radio cross-section. I'm sure there's more to it than what I'm just... I'm sure I'm just oversimplifying it. Uh, you know, a TALD has other things, uh, intelligent things, to make it more visible in terms of radar. So um, I'm sure there's much more that meets the eye than just looking at the shape. Um, I'm sure that's what uh, the internet will tell me and will be correct. Okay, uh, so enough of me gabbing because I don't really know what I'm talking about. As you know, let's just try firing them. So first we'll align the JSLC. Ping. Ping, ping. Ping. Ping, ping. 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 Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, Waypoint designate over there somewhere. In range for the J cell, just going to line up a little better. Wow, look, 58 miles, not bad, huh? And kapiao, kapiao. Let's get the J82 on, get that aligning. E fuse instant, TRO mode, that's all we need, isn't it? Actually, I don't want the bombs to get there first because we stand less chance of getting the bombs, so I better slow down. Break. Bombs are ready. Uh, already designated. Can't fire yet anyway. Where are the JSALs? Okay, they're just overtaking me now. Look. And we have drop, drop. Ping. What if I look on? Barometric hold on. Hey, look at our little babies. That's probably going to make them. Um, Bit annoying actually i didn't mean them to be that close but having them close together is probably going to give an extra large radar signal so that may make these extra easy to shoot but it's done now so suck it up we're currently at 500 knots so that's, that's fairly fast what kind of range are they out so we're not going to have anything firing within kind of five miles i shouldn't imagine so we've got a few miles to go we're not going to fire all oh ooh, uh, look at that just just as i said it amazing oh the tour just like we thought yeah, is that twin tour? Um, that's a tour. Now you can tell it's a tour because that missile is going directly up, and you can tell it's a tour, uh, tour missile as well. Same one on some of the Russian ships. Look at that for a cool shot, right? And that range was, or is, oh, whoops, uh, four miles, kind of what was expected. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what happens next. That was a tour firing again. I'm just going to get double check that. Yep, that's tour firing again. Oh, 
Oh, oh, those two missiles just hit each other in the face. What the hell? That was funny. Or maybe that they both missiles were aiming at that first one and detonated. That's actually more likely, isn't it? Okay, right. She's going to evade now. Evade! Oh, I want to see what's going on. Oh, how annoying. Nothing yet. Look. Nothing else yet. Oh, tours are firing again. I think it's going to be only the tours that can fire at this thing. Ah, is that tours again? Tour again? Don't kill me. I want to get through. Let's see what kind of range we're at at, at the moment. Oh, look, we're close. We're one mile away. Okay, we're going to have to redo that without the tours to see if anything else would fire as we got closer. I bet nothing else can fire on it, but... So that's all about radar cross-section. I've been um, milling around in DCS at the moment, testing radar cross-sections, and the different uh, systems here have different abilities to track different radar, see and track different radar cross-sections. And in terms of the radar guided, none of these it looks, even the mighty um, Roland just couldn't see those um, those radar cross sections that's interesting anyway let's quickly see what happens with the um, J dams I don't suppose for a minute anything's going to pick them up but you never know well, one thing we notice is that these do generate a lot of heat there's a lot of air friction in here and therefore you get IR contrast um, and we have shot the J sails down with sidewinders and the question is the angle what kind of angle are these coming down at are they coming out above the angle that the everything can look up that is a possibility. They do seem to be going quite higher, look. Are they actually guiding? They do that on purpose, don't they? That's why they do that. So they come above the target and then they drop down. That must be why they're doing that. No, no one sees it. Let's have a look at that kind of angle. So what kind of angle? I mean, it's about... Yeah, it's about that kind of 60 degrees, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'm not really sure, but it's going to get through either way. Boom, boom! Beautiful. Surprised it didn't kill any of the um, the units. Oh, it has. Right, so what we found from that is nothing can intercept JDAM. Uh, so we can lob that to our heart's content at 35 miles, and there's nothing anything can do about it. Uh, in terms of air intersecting them air to air, I'm pretty sure that's impossible as well. The radar cross section is just too small. The IR signal is just, just too small. J SAL is interceptable, so the only thing we need to do now is take away the SA15s and just see if anything else can intercept it. I doubt it can. Uh, in terms, and again, we're just talking about these small, low range ground units. Yes, we know that ships can intercept them and aeroplanes can intercept them. So stand by. Designate. Pium, pium. Ah, cool, right? Mr. Roboto! <laughs> That's cool. Okay, where's the other one? Interestingly, they're not together this time. I wonder where that is. Right, here we go. It's much lower than last time, look. Oh, no, it's going up again now. Right. What can take it out now? Should be! Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Something, ah, something just put its little turret up. What was that? I saw him. The Tunguska seen it. The Tunguska seen it. Now that's interesting because the Tunguska has to actually see it with an optical sensor of some kind, like a contrast-based sensor as far as I'm... No, it's got an early warning radar, look. Oh, no, it, scratch it. I'm being, being a knobhead. Just ignore everything I say. It's just, just going to be safest, isn't it? Anyway, the Tunguska has seen it. Uh, the problem is, it takes, if you remember the combined arms, it takes so many seconds for it to get a track, and I bet it's not going to get time to get a track. Uh, what time and what range did it see out of interest? Ooh, a good few miles away. So I just know, about a mile away. Not going to fire, is it? It's not going to fire. Oh, shit. Just didn't have the time. Wow, look at that. Jeez, is that a screenshot or is that a screenshot? Look at the size of the missile. It's massive. Look at it. It's like as long... God, you just... You, you forget how big these things are when they're on the airplane. They look tiny compared to a Hornet. But look, it's as long as a bloody... It's as long as an SA-13. 
Longer than this A13. It's massive. That's cool, right? Yeah, and you can see the Tunguska's tracking the other one now. The SA8, so old, 1960s, and never even got a lock. Uh, the Gepard never has to the chance. Tung oh, the um, Shilka, which is an old bitch of a thing, did get, you know, it did get it, but it never got its track. It takes seconds to get track. It's an old radar. These boys never had a chance. He just, he hasn't even got his missiles on the right way, an idiot. And... I'm just a bit disappointed about the um, Roland. I mean, that's a beast of a weapon, the Roland is, but you can see it hasn't, it's not aiming its turret, it's not really trying. And these boys, uh, the linebacker's fairly new, but that's IR, so that's never going to work. And that's IR, that's never going to work. Oh, look, and that um, Tunguska there's aiming, and that Shulka there's aiming. Um, so, at, at the end of the day, SA-15 can shoot down this thing here nothing else can in terms of low range units or ground based units at the moment uh, nothing can shoot down J them that's pretty much all I can say so let's just enjoy the spectacle boom boom right good fan had by all I say good family entertainment that is so answers the question for you hope that helps see you later